Ugandan economic players want the government to revise its expenditure pattern and focus on critical sectors that are able to stimulate economic growth across the economic scale. They propose that the government need to have put special attention on sectors like tourism, infrastructure and development of trade for aggressive economic growth. But uh, domestic tourism, Ugandans do not, uh, are not seen benefiting from uh, this potential. First of all, we lack awareness. Many, many Ugandans do not know that actually there is potential in tourism. There are uh, rich sites to, to, to go for tourism. In their proposal that they intend to submit to parliament and other government agencies, the participants in the Economic Development Forum want the government to urgently address issues of infrastructure and non-tariff barriers affecting trade in East African region, as well as heavy funding in energy and information communication technology. The, the, the interest rates, the bank rates are so high that we find a lot of big problems. And uh, when we also look at the roads, the roads are so bad. And uh, okay, in the budget, uh, things are put down proper, but eventually you find there's, there's a problem for inf implementation. We require government to remove non tariff barriers that are a hindrance to trade uh, within the region. So, uh, issues of way bridges issues of road brooks, issues surrounding customs, issues surrounding uh, um, quality and so on must be removed if we want to realize uh, the potential that the private sector can offer to this economy. The Uganda National Chamber of Commerce believes that the proposals and recommendations the players make are vital in economic development of the country and they need to be taken into consideration for effective planning and implementation of economic policies. Kenneth Buire, WBS News.